Great afternoon, great afternoon, Tiger family. We are here today. Today is Decision Day uh, all over the country. And today we are joined by one of our senior biology scholars, one of our honors college students, Mrs. Jada Harvey and her entire family. Uh, they are from Albany, Georgia. Uh, and Jada has some exciting news that she's going to share uh, with the Edward Waters University community. So Jada, just talk to me a little bit about you know, you've been here now four years. Uh, what made you what made you choose Deadwood Waters being college now university? Um, well, first off, my best friend, she she was she was accepted here as well and she got that family feel. So it prompted me to um, experience the same and I was able to get the presidential scholarship. So I knew then that I had to choose Edward Waters University. It was the best choice for me. And hey, talk a little bit about some of you. I know you were in the band here at Deadwood Waters. Um, you're in the Honors College. Can you talk a little bit about what your experience has been as a student here at Edward Waters and some of the extracurricular activities? So here at Edward Waters, I have had the greatest HBCU like no other experience um, is it's impossible to to describe um, anywhere else you would go. You know, you get you get the family feel, you get the good education, you get everything that you need um, for your under to succeed in your undergraduate experience. And so you are a graduating senior, yes, sir. biology major. Talk a little bit about. I know that you've had some very unique and very rewarding experiences during the summers in terms of internships and externships that you've been able to participate in as a result of working with the faculty here at Edward Waters. Can you talk a little bit about that? So the faculty has been absolutely monumental in my success and my, my, um, my future. They have encouraged me to go after many, many opportunities that they have, um, they have provided for me that they have found and you know just just encouraging me to do what I thought I couldn't do uh, I've had internships with the Mayo Clinic with the Department of Defense all of these internships were encouraged by faculty and staff here at Edward Waters University and they have been just amazing in encouraging me and pushing me to my limits who are some of those faculty members why don't you call some of their names out they, they, they love to hear their name <laughs> So uh, a very important one is Dr. Brian Seymour. Um, he was he also did his PhD in immunology, so he was he was uh, very encouraging as far as research. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Christian Bowers, he's the head of our honors college, so he was very um, encouraging as well. Um, as well as Dr. Prafir Mandal, he's our um, chair. He is very, <laughs> very hands-on and very um, just amazing as far as like pushing us and encouraging us for our future. So now the, the moment of truth has come. Uh, uh, Ms. Harvey applied to a number of different institutions. Talk about just, you know, what kind of programs you were looking at. I know that you are, uh, have been accepted to a PhD program in what? I was just an, an English major, so I, I won't pretend to be able to even describe the kind of work that, that you've done and, and that you're going to be doing going forward. So what, what's the name of the program? Uh, it's the immunology themed um, PhD program. So um, in immunology, you're looking at the study of the immune system. So that goes over a range of like vaccines um, with, with clinical trials, immunotherapies. It really can touch any sort of research. So we've got a number of schools that you apply to and that you're choosing from the University of Alabama at Birmingham, the University of Michigan, um, MD Anderson Cancer Center, Drexel University, uh, the University of Rochester, and Brown University. So the floor is now yours, Mrs. Harvey. Where will you be choosing uh, to spend the next four or five years um, of, of your academic life? <laughs> So first off, I'd just like to thank Edward Waters University and you, President Faison, as well as the First Lady. You all have been very essential to my undergraduate journey. I'd also like to thank my parents, my mom and my dad, for the endless support that they've supplied me with 
And most importantly, I like to thank God who is the head of my life. Without him, I wouldn't have made it. So, but President Faison, I like to announce that I will be further in my education at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. <laughs> I will begin their graduate biomed biomedical sciences immunology themed PhD program. Wow. Well, congratulations, congratulations. Why the University of Alabama at Birmingham? Um, well, I was able to do a campus visit with them and they really showed me that their immunology program is one of the most competitive and one of the most in the best within the nation and that they'll put their full support behind me in their program and I am sure to succeed within their program. Wonderful. Now, are you getting a scholarship or how, how is this being paid for? So within the PhD program, I, my tuition is covered and I am awarded a stipend. So I'll have everything covered as well as I receive health benefits and other benefits. Wow. Wow. Well, mom and dad, would I give you a moment? Anything you want to share? I know you are just so exceedingly proud. We are. Um, thank you, Dr. Faison. And thank you, First Lady. Um, we are truly, truly blessed. Um, Jada has, we were very nervous about her coming, um, you know, leaving home and then, you know, especially leaving home out of state. But she was convinced that she wanted to go to an HBCU. And when she came to Edgar Waters, we were thrilled, uh, you know, first and foremost, that you were Christians and that you took them under, took her under your wing. And, you know, we are, we are eternally grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. But well, we are so, so very proud of Mrs. Harvey. Um, I know that she is going to go forward and the best is truly yet to come. Uh, I will say that she is certainly the personification of emerging eminence here at Edward Waters University. So we're so very proud and we look forward to all that you uh, are going to accomplish and that you're going to do. So go forth. Uh, and make us all proud. I'm sure you will. Congratulations again, to Ms. Hoffman. Great afternoon, Tiger family. Uh, we are here on this very significant day. This is National Decision Day around the country as students are choosing their college or universities and or their graduate or professional schools. And Edward Waters University is certainly uh, a part of this special day. And so today I am joined uh, by one of our uh, presidential scholars who's a part of the Alpha cohort, the first group of uh, honors college students that we welcomed uh, to Edward Waters University back uh, in 2019. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. But it's had been now four years and she's joined by her family here, uh, her mother and her grandmother. Uh, and we are so, so very excited. I want to start off by saying this. So it was about four years ago this time. Um, my second home was in Albany, Georgia. And I was sitting on the couch watching television, WALB in Albany, Georgia. And a young lady came on the screen. Uh, they were doing a news report saying that she had received over one million dollars in scholarships uh, to attend schools from all over the nation. And anyone that knows me knows I'm a super competitive <laughs> kind of guy. Uh, and so this young lady was so articulate and she was listing all the different schools that she was considering at the time. But she didn't mention Edward Waters in college. And so I said, I have got to find out who this young lady is, who are her people. You know, we said, well, who are people? Who are people? Are? And so I, I actually, I did a little super sleuthing and I found that she was uh, a senior at Doherty High School. Um, and I knew the counselor at Doherty High School. And so I was able to get in contact with the counselor there. And I said, well, can you give me the mama name? Because I know, you know, in this kind of thing, you got to get with mama first, okay? If you got any shot at all. And so I found Miss Mitchell on Facebook. She might remember that. I, I found her on Facebook. And I just, you know, I shot my shot, as the young people said. I got in her DM and I said, Miss Mitchell, you don't know me from Adam. 
but I have become acquainted with your daughter. Uh, and I said, I know she has many, many, many options um, to go any place in the country. But I will assure you, if you will give us the opportunity at Edward Waters, that we will help you uh, to make her dreams a uh, reality. Uh, and she took me at face value. She said, I will give you my baby, but let me tell you something. You better make sure that you're true to your word in, in, in really supporting her. Uh, I think, I hope we've done that. I hope you've done that. I hope we've done. That. And so we are here today uh, to culminate what has been four years of tremendous work uh, and progress for Miss Pendergrass today. Uh, so, Brianna, I, I kind of gave a little bit of the background, but why did you choose Edward Waters? Uh, other than mom saying that's where you going, where you, where you gonna go? But why did you choose Edward Waters University? Um, that type of commitment to wanting to reach out to my mother to say that Edward Waters could be the place for me really showed me the type of um, like how earnest you are with um, trying to help me uh, become a scholar. Well, you know, it's then my education um, through scholarship and service um, here at Edward Waters University or uh, then college but yes yeah, basically this. Now I know part of you are also a graduating senior biology major um, and you've had an opportunity to, to participate in a lot of extracurricular activities I know you were in the band at one time you did a number of other things just talk a little bit about what your experience has been you know as a student as a scholar student here at Edward Waters. Um, coming here, I knew I wanted to gain more than just a degree, so I took that opportunity to branch out and really um, find myself more, so I did. I joined the band. I was part of the Honors College, and I was elected as the first Miss at Waters University, which I was, which was a dream when I came here and seeing the current Miss at that time and seeing, like, okay, that's exactly where I want to be. How can I... Um, go on this journey and make that uh, dream a reality and I was able to do so also through us uh, uh, gaining internships through faculty uh, coming to me and just telling me that I should apply and you know make that step forward. So talk a little bit about maybe some of the internships externships that you've had the opportunity to participate in excuse me during your time here at Ever Waters. Uh, my first internship was with um, Retool at the University of Florida, which then led to an internship at the, Uni at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. And my most recent internship was at Cornell University in their um, molecular and cellular biochemistry program. And I've recently been accepted into the UNC of Ernest E. Justice Scholars Program, where I'll be interning at a ph pharmaceutical company in Boston. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Can you share just some insight in terms of how faculty have been able to kind of support your matriculation and really kind of undergird your success here at Edward Waters? There has been multiple occasions where I have met with faculty one one on one in their office and them saying, OK, this is perfect for you. OK, this is how you do it. I'll read over your essay. Uh, your grades are amazing. Uh, just just do it. And actually leading me toward the path instead of saying there's scholarships there's internships out here they're literally like leading me the way and showing me some of them so you know you interned or you had an externship program at Cornell University this past summer and so coming into your senior year I know we've had some conversation you're vacillating between going to medical school or pursuing a PhD kind of what did you decide and, 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 and talk about kind of what, 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 what went into that decision I did choose to go um, on and get a PhD because of my most recent internship at Cornell where I did see the countless possibilities or careers that are available when you do get a PhD and how that can still segue into going into the medical field later in life. And so there are a number of fine institutions that you've made application to and been admitted to a number of them, um, but today is the decision day. Um, and so with that, I'm going to turn the table over to you and for you to share with all of us in the world where you decided to spend the next four to five years uh, as a Ph.D. student. Well, of course, first, I have to thank God who has shown me the path toward um, success and just leading me on the right path and following his word and will. And also my family, of course. Um, my mom has been there through all the tears. 
all of the joys, all of the failures and successes. So I really love you for that, mom. Thank you. And my grandma, who has just as well been right beside me, anything I need help on, just the best supporter in the world. And of course, Dr. Faison and First Lady Faison, amazing, amazing at its best. Um, thank y'all for taking me in, being a second family to me. And I don't know how I would have gotten through this without every single one of the long. But I guess I have to make my decision. So I will be going with Brown University. <laughs> I have been accepted into their cellular and molecular biology PhD program. And I am looking forward to it. That is amazing. Let's give that another round of small. Brown University. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful institution. So why Brown? Why Brown University? My decision was solidified when I did um, visit their campus and meet some of their faculty who did seem to have um, like a very strong uh, connection towards me and my research experience and who's willing to work with me. Um, they're saying that I can um, come in and they'll help me with anything that I need and just show me the countless amount of um, like the job projections of going to Brown and how they can um, help me matriculate. Well, you mentioned it earlier, and I will not attempt to try to uh, repeat the, the specifics of the program. Can you? I don't know about you, Vaughn, but I, I, that's I, out of my league, right? But talk about the particular PhD program and kind of what you're going to be studying. Um, can you kind of share some of insights? It's the cell, cellular and molecular biology pro, um, PhD program, where you are looking at uh, fundamental and translational biology, such as uh, diseases, but you're as examining it at the cellular level to see like the basic fundamentals of how um, diseases and things like that progress. Wow, 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 that's that's amazing. And did you receive a scholarship? Oh, of course, I have. I received a fellowship actually. Uh, which in let me get it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which includes uh, tuition, full tuition, um, payment, health benefits, and a yearly stipend um, to commit myself to research. Wow. Yeah. Miss Mitchell and Grandma, I know I, I can't even imagine how you might be feeling right now, but can you just share with us, you know, how you're feeling? I mean, how do you feel about what your baby girl has been able to accomplish? I don't know where to start. <laughs> but first of all, I thank God for putting her, her in y'all, you know, in God's pet. And she says the progress, and, and I'm looking forward to her future. And keep going, baby, because you can do anything. That's right. No way. Let's right. Well, indeed, this is a signature day. This is what this is what it's all about. I will tell you, for me as president, these are the kinds of experiences that keep me going. It keeps all of us enthused and excited. And let me say to you, Ms. Pendergrass, how incredibly proud I am how I'm proud our entire university is to see uh, that precocious, you know, 18 year old now have blossomed into the scholar woman that you've become now. We are so proud of you. Uh, and again, the very best is yet to come. And so um, we're just excited. Oh. I'm so excited. And I will say to you, as I'm going to say to everyone today, do not forget Edward Waters University. So when you all go and earn these six and seven figure salaries you're gonna come and get a bang for your alma mater they gave so much to you so we are so so very proud of you and um hey the best is yet to come well great tiger afternoon Thank you again for joining us on this signature day of the life of Edward Waters University. Uh, it is National Decision Day. Uh, and it's a different kind of decision day for here, us here at Edward Waters today. We are highlighting students and young people who are making their decisions to go on to graduate and are professionals. And so uh, we are excited about today, uh, May 1st, National Decision Day. And I am joined this afternoon with the consummate, I say, all around student, scholar, athlete here at Edward Waters University, Mrs. Lichey Henry, uh, who is a senior uh, 
uh, what they, communications major. Continued so senior communications major. He's also one of the captains of our women's basketball team. Has been a four-year player on our women's basketball team. Leads in our campus ministry, Tiger Nation. I could go on and on and on and on. But we are so excited uh, for her and all that God has done and is doing in her life. Uh, we, we we call her Praise God, Praise God. So anytime you see Miss Henry, she's going to say, Praise, praise God. God, Praise God. Okay. Uh, and so we are praising God with her and for her today. She's joined by our head women's basketball coach, Miss Charmaine Wilson. Her father is also here today. We're excited uh, for him and his presence in her life and being here today. Uh, and we're excited to share some wonderful news today. So I've known Lee Shea since she first came to the institution um, and has starred on our basketball team, uh, been just a wonderful student leader. Uh, so Lichet, talk to us a little bit about why you chose Edward Waters then college, now Edward Waters University. Praise God. So I told y'all. <laughs> I chose um, E-Dub as I know it to be um, because I was praying and fasting for God to just send me to the college or to the school that he wanted me to be to be at where you know he can minister to me where I can minister to others and when I mean he closed every other door and only had one open I had to walk through it so e is the college for me and I, I've loved it here ever since well I know I, I think I mentioned earlier I know that you are a very engaged all-around uh, student scholar here at Edward Waters Tiger Nation women's basketball team student government association campus ministries just talk to a little bit about what your experience has been as a student at Warner. I know you're involved and engaged in so much. You're also a great student in the classroom. So just talk about what your overall experience has been now as a senior looking back in the last four years. I mean, when I look back on the last four years here at E-Dub, I mean, it's just been great working with the basketball team, playing, playing basketball and then going and being a student and being able to advocate for the students and you know, just be be there for them, be a leader to them. It's it's been great. I've been able to minister on my team. I've been able to minister with the entire nation. I've been able to help upgrade other platforms here around campus, and I plan to continue to just always look back and help. Now you've got a big decision in front of you. I think you've made a decision today. Uh, we have a number of institutions: Clark Atlanta University, UCLA, and then another one here in Edward Waters University. Uh, so many of you all know we transitioned from Edward Waters College to Edward Waters University about two years ago, and so we offer a graduate degree program. So I'm glad to see that E Dove was on the list as well on Miss Henry. That's a that's a great thing to see. Um, but before we get into your decision, I know you're a communications major. Talk a little bit about the kind of support that you receive from the faculty at Edward Waters University. I I love E Dove. My communications department. From the chairman, Dr. Kimberly Davis, down to each and every professor. I mean, they, they've been like a second family. I have, I have my dad who's here today, but then I have my second dad, Mr. Raman Johnson. My mom who wasn't able to make it, but I have my second mom, Ms. Ms. Durbin, Miss Freeman. I mean, I, I can, the list goes on. I tell everybody that comes here. I say, as freshmen, I say, if you don't know what you want to do with this yet, which is okay, but go ahead and, you know, get in communications because you all love it everywhere. If they're family, they want to see you succeed. They're here to help you. If their office hours are open, I, I have their phone number. They calling me, hey, you, you need some help? All right, come on, let's go, let's do this stuff. I, I love it. I love it. Absolutely. It's a part of who we are here at Everett Waters University. So now for the moment of truth, uh, Miss Henry, you have made a decision um, about where you're going. Well, first, before we before we get into that decision, I'm going to jump ahead of myself. What kinds of programs are you are you looking for in terms of your graduate degree programs? And, 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 and why did you choose that particular area? So I was actually looking at two to, in, to decide. I was going to have a master's in communications and then a master's in business because I look to own my own business one day. As my, my father, he is um, a business owner himself, G. Henry Electric, and I've always looked up to that. One day I plan to help him with that business and take that over. So, you know, being already having my communications degree, wanting to continue that, I want to have my own business, a production business. Those are the two degrees that I was working on. Right. Well, for the moment of truth, you can share with us which institution you selected and which degree program you selected. So, after more thought and prayers, I have decided to get MBA at. Wow! 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 Congratulations! Wow! 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 
So you want to stay with President Faith no, 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 no. and the Edward Waters family for one more year. Why Edward Waters University and why the MBA program? Well, um, as many of you may know, Wisconsin Glover is one, was my captain on the basketball team. And she came and got her MBA here. And I look up to her a lot. And I wanted to get my, my, uh, my a business degree. So when I seen that she did it, I seen that my professors over for uh, in communication getting their PhD, I said, you know, I can do it too. So that really was a big step in encouraging me to get. That is absolutely yeah. not. Thank you. Too much. What, what Coach Justin sounds like you got. Yeah, you got some pop. I want more here. Just talk a little bit about Miss Henry and, 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 and your engagement with her and the growth that you've seen and just talk about, you know, kind of what your experience has been in coaching her and being a mentor to her over the past four years. And now you got her for one more year. <laughs> President Fraser, I wanted to say thank you to the EWU family. Uh, Lee Shea Henry has been an amazing asset to our program, not only as a player, but as a person, an individual. She's a woman of God. Now, I, when I signed her, I signed her behind a pew pit. <laughs> I was in a church. <laughs> so when I, when I did that, and we had this uh, great moment in the church, and signing her, she just brought joy to my heart. I knew she was going to be more than a player for me. She's served as our chaplain for the last four years, and I, I just love her. She's been a great asset, not only on the floor, like I said, as a player, the advocate, student athlete. So I appreciate having her. One thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dad, you knew her when she was just a twinkle in your eye. <laughs> so talk a little bit about, you know, Miss Henry and how you're feeling seeing her grow from a baby to the woman that she is now and getting ready to go and get her master's in business administration yeah so that I, I mean i just thank god you know i thank coach i thank you first lady i thank everybody um this is amazing opportunity like she went farther than i went so uh, i only did four years and uh to see her do this and just do everything she's doing uh like you said all the different programs uh i, I was sit the, uh, the other day she was I interview with somebody and Neil Long. It was just like, you know, you know, like she's, it's just, it's, it's so much to take in, but it's just like so amazing to just watch her grow, you know, especially y'all all see to see them do the best they can do and just, with well, their potential to just, just keep hitting marks, you know. So yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a beautiful thing. I mean, I, I love the, I love the coach. I love the culture. I love the, the whole feeling. So yeah, I'm very proud. Very proud. Well, thank you. Thank you so very much. Lise, we are all so very proud of you. I, as your president, am exceedingly proud. I'm also just excited that you're going to be back here another year. Uh, we're going to get that SAP championship this year. Yeah, that's okay. It's another thing. I know that's going to happen. Uh, and for you to enroll in our MBA program uh, is phenomenal. It's one of the best programs in the country. It's 100% online. So I would not be president if I did not mention if you are looking for a graduate or professional school uh, that you're looking to attend, consider Ever Waters University. We have a phenomenal Master's of Business Administration program, which Lee Shea is going to be joining. Uh, we also have a master's degree in education policy and advocacy. And just two weeks ago, SAC COC approved two new master's degree programs at Edward Waters, the master in cybersecurity and also the master's degree in public administration. So we are excited. We are growing as an institution. Uh, and if you want to be sitting here one day talking about where you're going to be going to pursue your graduate or professional uh, a school journey, uh, you need to enroll at Edward Waters, www.ew.edu backslash apply. All right. So please join us here at Edward Waters. I am so very proud of you, Lee Shea. So very proud of Jada Harmy and Brianna Pendergrass, just a representative of the outstanding emerging eminence that's going on here at Edward Waters University. So congratulations to all of our scholars that made their decisions today on National Signing Day. And I want to leave you with this. You can go anywhere from Edward Waters University. Go Tigers.